Once we have a project cloned to our local workstation, we can start working on the project and seeing how we can add new files and modify files that can be added to the Git repository. So let's start again here, taking a look at our Git example project. And if I'm in Lassian source tree and I double click, I can open up a new window that's going to show me the details about the project, the branches, the origin, and everything that's changed in the project. Now right away, this isn't very interesting because we've made no changes to the project. This is one that we've cloned directly from the repository that we want to start working on. So let's start adding some interesting features to our project. Our project is a very simple HTML project. We're doing this here because we can see changes to this project without having to worry about compiling, and it's a fairly easy thing to understand. So we have a project that's a simple web page using Twitter Bootstrap to do a little bit of styling and add a few files to our repository. Now, the first thing I'm going to want to do is I'm going to want to add a CSS file, a cascading style sheet file, that's going to allow me to define some custom look and feel of our website. I can create a new file that's going to allow me to define some custom styles in our project. Let's create a brand new CSS class, and we'll define a class called main. And we'll do something very simple. We'll essentially create a new font family, maybe a couple font sizes here for us to demonstrate what a new CSS style may look like. Once we've created a new file in our Git repository, let's see how source tree has reflected the changes that have been made to our project. Now, one of the things that happen when you clone a Git repository to a local system is that there are a couple of interesting features that come along with a cloned repository. One is the working tree or the working copy of our files are all tracked by Git. So Git knows and can track what files have been changed, what files have been added, and give you a little bit of information about what those files are. Now in this case, we've created a brand new CSS file and added a little bit of text. And you see that show up in the files in the working tree box. And if you click on this, it'll give you a little bit of detail about what exactly is new about this file. In this case, you can see we've created a brand new file. All four lines are new. And Git doesn't know anything about this file yet. We need to be very explicit in the kinds of things we want Git to know about. So what we're going to do is we're going to add this file to our working copy, and eventually to our repository. This happens using a command called git add. And in Atlassian source tree, there's a couple of ways to do this. The easiest way is to take a file. In this case, you'll see the question mark that says git doesn't know anything about this file. And we need to add this to what git calls the staging area. And the staging area is how we are deliberate about the kinds of things we want git to start tracking and incorporating into our shared repository. So when I drag that file up into what's called the staging area, the file staged in index, you'll see the green plus coming on here that tells us that this is a new file that we're adding to the Git repository. And if you click on it, it'll show you the details about the lines of the file that are brand new. So once we've added this to our staging area, this is uh, reflective that Git knows what we would like to do with this file. We also want to go back and let's uh, incorporate that CSS file into our source project. We want to use that CSS file in our index file. So as with all other HTML, we need to be able to link that style sheet into our main index file. So let's just go ahead and do that now. And when we save the file, we can go back again to source tree. And source tree is going to show me that there's something else that happened in our project. Down in the files in the working tree area, a, a little yellow button with a couple little small white dots in it lets you know that something has changed in the file. And you'll see again, the changes that have been made to that file. Atlassian source tree highlights that with a green line. It adds that little plus so you can see that we've added that link to a style sheet in our file. Again, even though a change has been made in the working tree, we need to be very deliberate 
about what we want Git to track. And we do want Git to track this change that we've made to this file. So again, we'll highlight our file, the index.html. In this case, we'll just click the Add button. And you'll see, again, it pops up into this file staged into the index. Now we have two changes that we've made to our project that we would like to commit to our project. But for now, we can see that we've added these things and we're ready to continue working.